Hey guys, today to celebrate Black History Month, we're going to go over how Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. demonstrated all seven habits very elegantly with his life. Starting off with habit one, he used very proactive language. Instead of saying things like, I can't, or it's not fair, he would come right out of the gate saying, there has to be a way. This is super powerful, guys. Because I believe we can all agree that it wasn't fair what was going on. But he was using this proactive language to say, hey, I know this is possible. As far as habit two goes, beginning with the end of mind, this can be seen in all of his speeches and his teachings throughout his lifetime. Unfortunately, a lot of the things he was teaching, he wasn't able to see come to fruition before his life ended. But that didn't keep him from putting first things first and making sure he was clear and precise with all of his priorities in seeking social justice. He wouldn't compromise any of his principles. Instead, he would seek an alternative to make sure that it was a win-win situation for all parties involved. And during a time that there were so many violent protests against the things that he was saying, Dr. Martin Luther King still preached nonviolence, even though it was not easy to do so. This is a great example of seeking first to understand than to be understood. And on the day that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech was the day of the March on Washington. There we saw synergy taking place with over 250,000 Americans coming together to hopefully see the end of the social injustices. Hopkins County's own Mr. Lowry actually attended this on that very day. And as far as Habit 7 goes, sharpen the saw, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. absolutely loved to spend time with his family. fantastic week indeed. Listen kiddos, the third trimester is up and coming and so we have a few changes that we need to make sure you are aware of. It begins on Monday, February 22nd. To help us plan ahead, we need families to decide if your student will remain on your current instructional choice or if you will switch going into the second trimester. The deadline to make a switch is Friday, February the 19th, so please be aware of that. If we don't hear from you by the 19th, you will remain with your current instructional model choice. All right, so Credit Recovery Night School continues next week from two to five. If you have any questions or would like to reserve a spot, please contact Ms. Nevitt by email at charlene.nevitt.hopkins.kyschools.us. Saturday school starts February 6th from nine to 12. Transportation is not provided. Tony Stark at Hopkins.KYSchools JK to reserve your spot. I didn't know he worked here. Uh, we still have a few openings for tomorrow. Yes, indeed we do. Hey, credit recovery. It's time to nerd out with Mr. Woodruff. I feel like that's a typo, but anyways, here's Mr. Woodruff. So what's up guys, I'm gonna take the next two minutes and talk to you about probably one of my favorite video game series of all time. Y'all probably saw this giant key hanging on my wall. So I'm gonna to talk to you about Kingdom Hearts. Literally, I have followed this game franchise since it first came out when I was probably in middle school with you all, about your all's age. I wasn't in middle school with you all, what am I talking about? So anyway, this story, it follows a kid by the name of Sora. He ends up 
uh, getting shown up by one of his friends who is way cooler than him. You know, it's a situation I can relate to. Probably why I love the game so much. He gets shown up by one of his friends who is way cooler than him. Uh, they do a whole bunch of stuff. And then one night, his home is attacked by a bunch of monsters. And the only thing that Sora can do to save himself is find this key right here and beat the snot out of all the monsters. Now, unfortunately, his home gets lost and destroyed. And he ends up having to go adventure off with a dog and a duck by the name of Donald and Goofy. They travel through all these worlds and do all these things. They beat up all of these people. They uh, defeat all of these villains, all in hopes of getting Sora's friend back. Which, unfortunately, never happens. At least until the third game, which is actually the, like the eighth game in the series. Because for some reason they can't name them right. It goes like one, two... And then a whole bunch of other ones, like five, and then like five more later, there's like Kingdom Hearts 3. And in Kingdom Hearts 3, we find out that they eventually do give Sora's friend back. And once again, Sora's friend is so much cooler because he gets named a Keyblade Master, which I would love to be. That's why I train with this thing all the time. Actually, no, I don't. I don't train with this because, you know, if I did, I probably wouldn't be this plump. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, it is probably one of my favorite video games of all time. It started off on the PlayStation, went on to the PS2. I'm sorry, the best one is Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 2, or the 3 or the 4, depending on what version of it you get. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my TED Talk. This is my TED Talk. Nerd! Thanks, Mr. Woodruff. Say, has he found the teacher's lounge yet? <laughs> I don't think he'll ever find the teacher's lounge. Free bear bucks if. Um, I'm sorry, wow, that Kit Kat and ketchup combination I saw on TikTok last night really has my stomach in knots. Anyway, free bear bucks are provided for grabbing breakfast. I don't know, but I do know that ESS for hybrid students continues after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4. Students will need transportation home. Please contact Ms. Nevin at charlene.nevin at hopkins.kyschools.us to reserve your spot for 6, 7, and 8. Okay, holy smokes, I think I'm going to be sick thanks to that stupid Kit Kat trend. Now to Ms. Mills. Ms. Hallam, are you smart? Absolutely. What are the names of Kim Kardashian's children? Okay, so they are North, East, West, and South. North, East, West, and South. Yep. All right, good job. You're welcome. Mr. Stroud, are you smart? Yes. What is Cardi B's real name? Cardi B's real name is Caroline D. Baxter, and when you abbreviate it, that makes Cardi B. Cardi, B Cardi B's real name is Caroline. That is correct. And to me, she's my Cardi Bay. All right, good job. Thanks, Miss Mills. Good Big so Smiles well. Mobile Dentist is coming to our school. They will be... They will be visiting Group A students on February 22nd and Group B on Why is this best with? Remote students can come on any date that has room. Please contact Ms. Lynch in the Youth Service Center with any questions or if you need a form. Hold you this. You can also visit your school webpage. But, but, but one, oh, one hand it is almost yeah. time yeah. to feed the chickens. Almost time. My watch just let me know. You can also visit our school webpage under the Youth Service Center to print off the form to sign your child up. For the in-school dentist, please return your completed forms to school as soon as possible. Symptom checker. Click here for a quick reference list of... And that's, that's all it says. That is all that it says. Right. Okay. School Nurse Appreciation Week. We celebrated our nurse, Lori Watson, this week. She is such an asset to our students and families here at the Springs. She and Norma Tapp... Oh, no work hard in the nurse's office and they are willing to do what it takes to make sure our students have what they need. Hey, don't forget to turn in your COVID health assessment today. For today's weather, we're going to Mr. Griffin. 
And now to Mr. Griffin for the weather. It's raining. I don't know if I can taste the rainbow, but I can certainly feel it. Thanks, Mr. Griffin. Now, a Reddit forum recently discovered that rule. Sanitize. Otorhinorologist Colonel Penguin Sixth Isthmus Anemone Squirrel Choir in Worcestershire are known to be the ten most difficult words to pronounce properly in the English language for non-native English speakers. What? Now to Mr. Steersman with Want a Bear Pug? What's up guys, Mr. Steersman here, and today we're going to give out some bear bucks. So we're going to go around to some classrooms here, mainly mine for right now, and we're going to see who wants a bear buck. All right, first. All right, Caleb. Do you want a bear buck? Yes. Nah, that's okay. All right, Ella, what about you? Would you like, all right, guess a number in my head between one and ten. Seven. Seven? That's a really good guess, but it's wrong. All right. Who wants to do this now? I, 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 all right. Guess the number in my head between one and three. Two. Nope, it was 1.5. All right. Ladies, you want to, here. You know what? You're pretty cool. You know, fair folks. Just kidding. All right. Uh, who wants what? Damien. Damien, come on in. Come on in. Fair You don't want one? All right, here you go. Just kidding. Here. Would you like one? Yes? Thank you. Thank you. Take it, take it, take it. No, you can't have one. Anyone else want a bear buck? Who wants a bear buck? You want a bear buck? You want, oh, here you go. I'll just give you one. All right. What is the square root of 3,246.2? It's got to be quicker than that. <laughs> nope. All right. I don't guess anybody wants a bear buck. You want a bear buck? Here you go. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Oh, gosh. It doesn't look like anybody wants a bear buck today. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Thanks, Mr. Steersman. School Nurse Appreciation Week is rocking and rolling. We celebrated our nurse, Lori Watson, this week. She is such an asset to our students and families here at the Springs. She and Norma Tapp work hard in the nurse's office and are always willing to do what it takes to make sure that our students have what they need. So thank you to them. Hey, Mr. Stroud, was hey. it not good enough when I said it the first time? You felt like you needed to reread it again? I literally just read what's on the script. Awesome. Okay, speaking of challenging things, Fred fed Ted bread and Ted Fred bread. What? Cool. Lesser weather had never wetter weather better. What? A skunk sat on a stump and thumped the stump stunk, but the stump thumped the skunk stunk. What? And I think that Mr. Shaw stunk. What? Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Ow. So, what? <laughs> so this is a sushi chef. What? I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Unfortunately, it was near my ear, a nearer ear, a nearly eerie ear. All the while, my dog chews shoes. But whose shoes does he choose? What? Fine, you win. Happy School Counselor Week. We want to admit, wish Griffin a happy School Counselor Week. This is her first year here at the Springs, and we're glad to have her. She has jumped right in and is willing to help our students in any way she can. Thank you, Miss Durbin. We appreciate you so much. Why is my hair coming out? Who? Uh, also, I have a, uh, I only have 1,303 steps right now, so. Yeah, academic team. Congrats to the following academic team members for placing at last week's Regional Governor's Cup competition and advancing to the state competition. Caitlin McLean, who placed fourth in composition. Karis Lewis, who placed fourth in math. Jaden Heath, who placed fifth in science. Albany Ray, who placed fifth in math. And Stephen Pandolfi, who put late. Yeah, never mind. Our quick recall team placed fourth. This is the first time in the last decade that our quick recall team has advanced past the first round of regionals. We are so proud of you. Also, Mr. Straub skipped over archery. Congrats to our archery team for just missing first place by three points at last week's last weekend's Henderson County Classic. Aiden Kelly was the top archer in the middle school boys division, and he was joined by Gabriel Chamberlain and Jackson Smith, 
as our top three on the boys' team. Maddie Ziegler, Ileana Darris, and Ella Vargas were our top three girls. And in other news, I can't feel my eyelids. <laughs> I think that's it for today. Sanitize. Sanitize. <laughs> so thank you for joining us, boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, guys, and TV pals. That's all we have for this time. Sorry, Tristan Ellis, we didn't have time for you. And remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Skeet, bop, do, bop, skeet, bop, Sorry, bop, Hunter bop. and Hayden, that I keep embarrassing you. Who? All right, hey guys. So I did not forget about y'all. I'm actually here. But the answer from last week was 17. So this week, we need you guys to guess how many times did she look at her watch? So make sure you comment the answer for that one. Yeah! yeah. yeah.